<laughs> Folks. <laughs> My next guest is talented young comedian making his very first appearance on The Tonight Show. Always exciting. He's a regular performer at the Comedy Store right here in Hollywood. This fall, he'll be appearing on Vince Vaughn's Wild West Comedy Tour all across the country. That sounds like fun. Please welcome John Caparulo. <laughs> Tonight show, good to be here. First thing, if somebody could TiVo this, my cable's out again. So, uh, yeah. Have you ever had this problem where the cable goes out and the cable company doesn't care? <laughs> I called him, I'm like, yeah, I got fuzz. Can you do something? Well, we can't come out tonight. <laughs> we can come out on Monday between 10 a.m. and Thursday. Are you gonna be on? <laughs> I gotta go to my friend's house to watch TV. It sucks, you know, because all my friends want to do is watch porn. <laughs> what is it with guys? Dude, I got this killer new porn. You want to watch it? Not together, really. I, uh... <laughs> What's that gonna do for our relationship? I don't understand. And why are you wearing cologne right now? That's gay. I don't, I don't understand what's going on with these candles and rose petals either, but I don't feel safe. I know that. I'm not saying I'm above porn. I look at porn just by myself, you know, it's a, it's a me time kind of thing, you know, like, like, I like internet porn, internet porn's sweet. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me alone on that one. All right, that's cool, yeah. I do, I like internet porn, I like it now because I got my own computer, finally, because I used to have to go to the library. And, uh, <laughs> as soon as you unzip your pants, that's a big hassle, but, uh, <laughs> I'm single. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and my girlfriend broke up. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, you know, it was for the best. You get to that, we were together like two years. You get to that point in a relationship where you realize maybe we're just two different people. Cause I'm kind of like, I guess I'm the type B personality. I'm pretty laid back and she's a, she's a bitch. And, uh, <laughs> wasn't gonna work out. You know, one of those things. It's such a big deal in a relationship. I didn't realize, like, guys, you ever do something nice for your wife or your girlfriend and regret it the next day? Because now I got to do it every day, or I don't love her as much as I did on Wednesday. You know what I mean? How come you don't pick flowers anymore? You used to go outside and pick flowers for me because you love me. How come you don't do that anymore? Because it's December, all right? There's no flowers in December. I'm sorry. There's there's pine cones. You want a pine cone? Because there's pine cones, all right? Because you're so pretty. I'll pick you a pine cone next time I go outside. I never said stuff like, I can say whatever I want now because I got a, a court order, but I, uh, <laughs> I couldn't argue. You ever have that friend, girlfriend, boyfriend that won't pull any punches in an argument? They just say the meanest thing they can think of just to win the fight and they don't care if you run out in traffic later, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like stuff you shouldn't say to somebody you're gonna see tomorrow, you know what I mean? I couldn't argue about little stuff. I'd be like, you know what? I don't like the fact that I gotta take the trash out every time. <laughs> oh yeah, well I don't like the fact that you're a mama's boy and you got a little penis. <laughs> Guess I'll take the trash out then. Right? Uh, I'm not even really mad about that anymore. <laughs> I was thinking more about that small penis thing. Yeah, I, uh, do you want a pine cone? Because I'm going outside and I'm not going to make two trips because it's raining. <laughs> The worst thing about breaking up, though, if you've had this, you gotta divide your stuff. Like, I didn't really, even if you're not married, like, you know, like, all I wanted back was my dog. That's all I care about. She could have all the other stuff, the apartment and the furniture and that other dude. I didn't really care about that. I just, I wanted my dog. It sucks, though, because as soon as I got my dog back, I moved into an apartment that doesn't allow dogs, so I had to give him to my parents. He lives in Ohio, you know? I miss having a, yeah, all right, sweet. I, uh, <laughs> I miss having a pet, though. You know, we're not allowed to have dogs in my building. We're allowed to have cats. My friend's like, why don't you get a cat? I'm like, why don't I just start kissing dudes, too, all right? Why don't I do that? <laughs> you, can't be, you can't be a single guy with a cat. You're either gay or you're a villain. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> can't, can't 
the guys over for the Lakers game? Hey, what's up, fellas? This is Mittens. All right, he'll, uh, <laughs> he'll scratch the hell out of you. You guys, yeah, hang out for... I'm gonna go put on my lipstick, but don't take nothing, all right? Uh, yeah, I don't have any cable. Maybe we can watch porn and hold hands or something. Uh, <laughs> that's my time. Thanks, you guys. Very much. Funny stuff, John. Terrific. Thank you. Good for a shot, buddy. Be right back with Avril Lavigne right after that. Tonight on Conan. Not now, dear. I'm squeezing avocados. Well, when you're done, we've got luscious Eva Longoria and on college break, Tommy Lee. Sleeping through this one, it could be deadly. Hello, I'm Steve Carell, here to tell you that due to a clerical error, all network television and movies everywhere have been canceled this Wednesday night. Except the Office Marathon and a sneak peek at my new movie, The 40-Year-Old Virgin. So we will see you 8 p.m. 7 Central here on NBC.